Hey kids and grown-ups, welcome to Kids Life Online. My name is James and I'm so excited that you're joining us today. Grown-ups, remember you can connect with the wider New Life Online community by heading to church.nu forward slash online. And make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can see more of Kids Life. We have a great service in store today, so let's jump right in. friends and I are having so much fun being kid chefs and making all kinds of recipes. And this one is the most important one. Everyone in my family knows how to make this recipe. My mom knows how to make this recipe. My grandma knows how to make this recipe. And my great grandma knows how to make this recipe. This recipe is so important and so special to my family. And I want to know how to make it too. Do you want to know what it is? Drum roll, please. First, I'm going to put the cookies in the cup. Then, I'll scoop in the bananas. Then, I'll scoop in the pudding. It's time for my favorite part, to put more cream on the top. Ho! Ho! It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Ho! Ho! Making an important recipe, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I'm making my family's recipe for banana pudding. It's super important to my family. Family recipes are special. It's true. 
I know someone who thinks you are important, too. Listen up. Just follow me through. Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey, friends. I'm just the mailman. Look at this postcard telling people about a new haircut place. I just love getting my hair cut, don't you? Speaking of the hairs on our head, that reminds me of an important story in the Bible. Do you want to hear it? Let me put our story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with someone very important. It's you! Do you know who thinks you are important? God! God thinks you are important. God loves you so much, and God knows everything about you. Let's play a game to learn more. It's called God Knows. If the answer is yes, God knows, wave your hands high in the sky like this. Let's try it. Does God know when you are happy? Yes, God knows when you're happy. Does God know when you are sad? Yes, God knows when you are sad. Does God know when you sit down? Yes! Does God know when you stand up? Yes! God knows when you sit down or stand up. Does God know the words you're going to say to a friend? Yes! God even knows what you're going to say to your friend before you say it. Hey, did you notice all of the answers were, yes, God knows? Wow, God is amazing, and God knows everything about me. God even knows how many hairs are on our heads. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Let's see if we can count all of the hairs on this head. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. I don't think I can count them all. There are so many hairs. I can't count all of the hairs on my head, but God can. God knows exactly how many hairs are on our heads. God knows everything about you and me because we are important to God. Wow, God made you wonderful and God made me wonderful. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who made you wonderful? God made me wonderful. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you wonderful? God made me wonderful. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God made you, so you are special and important, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow, I'm important to God. That is so special. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I know how to make banana pudding, but God knows how many hairs are on my head, and that is so special. I'll see you next time. Bye! Wow, what a great story. Well, that's all we have time for today, so don't forget to join us next week. And remember, God made you, God loves you, and God wants to be your friend. Bye.